it's your old buddy Microchip here playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is a UMR episode 16. Now, we are at the North Yard, and I just thought this was a nice shot to start us off with. The North Yard has quite a few cars in it. Uh, that's the bull right here. This is the South Yard right here. And then if we fly over this way, a little more flying, please. Uh, we have the West Yard over here. All right. So what we're starting off with today is right here at Thomas. Thomas is our double SW1500 shunter engine guy. And he just got done humping. Uh, there's nothing left on the hump track, right? I'm making sure. Yeah, this is the hump track going back this way. So, yeah, there's nothing left on the uh, standby or the waiting to be hump track. There's no more cars to hump is what I'm basically trying to say. Uh, so now what we got to do is we got to drill them. Uh, now, a lot of them went into the bowl. Oh, yeah, and then here's this, too. This happened, what, an episode or two ago? These derailed. I did not notice uh, these uh, covered hoppers here with plastics. Uh, I did not notice, but they had derailed. Uh, I think maybe because the parking brake was on with these. I'm not sure. I've had it happen before where when they hit, they'll derail right away. And, and then it's, you know, it happened for a little bit. And I couldn't figure out why. And then all of a sudden it, it stopped happening. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know why it started, why it stopped. I didn't do anything different as far as I could tell. So now these just derailed for me. So I put those back on there and I put these back on here too, which reminds me, uh, I got to re-tag these right here, don't I? Uh, or do I? Oh no 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 no! Let's go down this way. Uh, yeah, these right here. Okay, so I want to go minus minus, right. Tag it right here for Edison Moorhead. Normally, I don't show you guys this, but well, you're gonna have to sit through it. Edison Moorhead. Ed wouldn't Edison. More head. It's going to do both cars. That's correct. And all four. One, two, three, four. Now Edison Moorhead. <coughs> all right. So this is my third sick video in a row. Uh, I'm sick, but I'm I'm powering through it, people. That's how dedicated I am. All right. So now to do this drill, uh, what I was saying is these cars down the middle here, down this middle track, are the ones that need to be drilled. All these on the left. And all these on the uh, right, uh, uh, scratch that, go backwards. All these on the right and all these on the left uh, are in the bowl where they're supposed to be. But these on the middle have to either be drilled into the south yard over here, which Smiley will take care of, or they got to be drilled into the west yard, which is what Thomas will take care of. Okay, so here's Smiley. We're going to move Smiley into position. And before we do that, we're going to make sure that our draw distance goes back down to 2,000 in order to smooth out the action here on the old uh, highly populated uh, North Yard. Here we go. So we're going to move Smiley into position. And I'll show you where that is because he's going to be drilling the West Yard. We want to get him out of the way so Thomas can drill this. Uh... No, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm still saying it wrong. Uh, we're going to get uh, Smiley out of the way so he can drill the South Yard. So Thomas can then drill this west yard over here. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, here he goes. He's on his way to a better day because he thinks the insights. <laughs> yeah, I'm still coughing and hacking. I'm trying not to. Now, you may think to yourself, it's unprofessional for a YouTuber to be uh, coughing and hacking. And shouldn't you hit the mute button? Yeah, sometimes I don't get to it. Right? Sometimes I don't. I see Kenny is stuck. His head just came up down the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, and so you're just going to have to live with it. Or, you, you know, you know, you know, look, this may not be the channel for you if you don't like it. All right. Now, I did say Kenny was stuck. Uh, but we're not getting any of those big pauses. Sometimes it'll freeze. It says Rafa. And he is stuck and is awaiting new instructions. And Rafa is stuck too. I bet you they're coming in opposite directions somewhere along the line there. And they, they're button heads now. I suppose as a responsible dispatcher, I should go over there. Let, let, let's park uh, Smiley first. 
But he's going to park on this track right here. And in that way, Thomas is going to drill what he needs to drill here. Anything that's going to the south yard, he's going to ram right into uh, Smiley here. So he can then back down this track, and uh, he will drill south yard, which is over there. See, I just did two emergency mutes there for some coughs. I think I need a lozenge. That's what needs to happen. All right. Stop him right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to get myself a lozenge. And then uh, we're going to check out what Rafa and uh, Kenny are up to. All right, the lozenge has been inserted. So hopefully that'll stop me from coughing here a little bit. This is Kenny. Kenny is here in Gunnison, and he's heading uh, this way. <laughs> I think that's south, right? He's heading south, and he is headed towards uh, Joliet. Uh, and he's got himself quite a train here. Uh, and he is button heads with Rafa, who's coming the other way. So, the question is, uh, why are they button heads? So, here's Kenny. He's heading south here on like, track two of the main line. Here's Rafa coming the other way, coughing. Now, Rafa can't get over here, right? Is there nowhere for them to get over? Well, here's this track right here, right? Couldn't they get over there? And then he could pass here on the right. They don't seem to be able to figure that out. All right, so let's go to Kenny. Let's unmap it. Kenny, you know what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, stop the train. Okay. Now, let's uh, ride down this way. Oh, yeah, Rafa's right here. Is Rafa good now? Rafa is still not good. Okay. Yeah, absolute stop. Great. All right, so we got this. He's probably got control of that switch there. What if I switch you to this side, buddy? Oh, boy, I think he, I think he took it. I think he took the bait. He did. Here he comes. All right, so he's heading to North Yard. This is all probably coming from Gunnison. Rafa, I believe, yes, he is, is our newest uh, local. Local, he's our, uh, what, our uh, 11th local? Yeah, he's our 11th local. Okay. I just had another large coughing fit just to keep you, you know, in the fold of how things are going. I just got a cold. I'm not dying, I promise you. All right. So uh, we're going to wait for Rafa to hit this track right here. Then we'll get Kenny going again. Then we'll go back and do what we were originally supposed to do. Oh, geez. Kenny's got himself a train and a half here. Yes, he does. This All this stuff here is sitting. I think this is a train uh, that is working the ore yard, which is over here. Uh, just put these over here till he's done working the ore yard, and he's going to come back over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's wait down here now for Rafa to get the lead out. You got all empties there, Rafa. You can't be very heavy. How heavy is Kenny? Kenny's got himself a load. He's got 7,974 tons. Yeah, Rafa's only pulling... Uh, 1455. Now, he's a single engine, an ES44DC, but what's that thing rated for? 4,000. Of course, it is a slower starting train, so that's, uh, you gotta keep that in mind. It's not geared like an SD40 or a GP38 where they can change speeds pretty quickly. Here he comes. Come on through, Rafa. Look at what a good dispatcher I am. Now, hopefully, Kenny's not going to throw the switch under the train. There goes Rafa. Now, we're going to come over here and say, continue your schedule. Nope. Looks like he's good. He's not throwing any switches. 
Okay, so he's going to behave himself. So once he clears, he should be able to go forward. Let's go back to Smiley again. Uh, actually, we already got Smiley in place, didn't we? Yeah, we can actually go to uh, Thomas. Where in the heck is Thomas in this way too big? There he is. Thomas. Uh-oh, Thomas. You're gone. Let's put it on pause. Give a chance for the computer to go, oh, yeah. That's what's supposed to be here. There you go. Perfect. All right. Let's roll. Okay. Go straight. We're going to go straight. We're going to come down here, hook onto this. And these should already be straight, right? Because, I mean, I just, I just moved Smiley out of here. Yes. 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 This one won't be. But that's okay. Because I don't know where the first uh, where the first car is going to yet. Where the first cars in this cut are destined for. I gotta wait till I hook up to it and then I'll bring up my switch list. It's about it's a little after 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, of course, 4 p.m. in the morning doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. Uh, I wish I'd have done this early in the morning because when I get up in the morning with my cold here, I got I got that deep voice that's like this. They don't have to try to push it all; it just comes out like this. And so it's kind of like you know Barry White decided to uh, do the uh, broadcast for me today. I don't know Barry White. I, I don't know Mr. White at all. Uh, but it just, I kind of sound like him. Maybe I'm, maybe it's hard to judge yourself sometimes. Uh, so maybe I'm being a bit generous. All righty. Into the bowl. Here we go. I'm coming up on it. Got a couple of CSX box cars at the end, followed by some high cubes there. I don't know what those are. I mean, I know they're high cubes. I don't know what what railroad they belong to. What are they branded as, I guess? Here we go. Okay, now while we lash onto those, let's uh, go to the front. Okay, so we got these empty bulkheads, which are going to Maple View Forestry. Uh, in Maple View, let me bring that up on my spreadsheet here. Maple View is where? Uh, oh, it is uh, the West Yard 5. So it's track 5 straight ahead. Let's get going. No, 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 no. What did I just do? Oh, <laughs> I'm still on my spreadsheet. I'm clicking buttons. Here we go. Now I'm on my trains here. Okay, so these are all going to Maple View. Maple View, yeah. Then there's a pro car. Oh, pro car, I mean. Uh, so yeah, Maple Views are all going on to track five. So let's set that up while we're rolling here. There we go. Yep, yep, I already checked these, but I'm going to check them again. Yep, yep. Yep, and then we got six. No, 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 what am I doing? Six, and then five. We got room on track five. Yep, we're running low, but we got enough to get this done. All righty. Here we go. Seems odd they put a 10 mile an hour sign right here. As you're leaving one yard going into the other. Or leaving the bowl going into this yard. Because you already kind of know that. Okay. 
All right, so there's... Uh, something right there. Outbound. What was that? I don't know. Here's track six. And then here's track five. That's where these are going. Okay. Run down here now. Here we go. Now, my guess would be you definitely have to uh, charge the bake the brake pipes, right? I mean, there's no way you could push all those cars. Couldn't have any more in the reserves or anything, could they? I wouldn't think so. The brakes are probably fully on. Okay. Then we'll stop it right about there. A little jittery. Computer's laboring a bit. All right, so uh, oh, 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 got some slack going on. Give some time to work it out. Here we go. The brakes are still singing. Now we're going back the other way. All right, enough. Back it off now. Now these are going to Fenton. And Fenton is where? Fenton is on track seven. Okay, so that's track eight over here, right? Yeah, so this is track seven right down the middle here. Okay. We have this one, this one, and this one all going to Fenton. Let's stick drill those on the track seven. I don't remember leaving this labeled as uh, Outbound Yard East 1 through 6. I didn't label it as Track 7. Neil Smith, I think, uh, labeled that one. The guy who made the route, not me. Alrighty. Evidently, using this as an Outbound Yard. I am not doing that. I'm using it as storage tracks. Why do I hear like an air hose or something? Did I forget to set the angle cocks? Well, that can't be possible because, first of all, I'm a professional, and second of all, there are no angle cock settings in this one. All right. Now we'll put these three onto here. Nice. I didn't check this, uh, the length of this one. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I'm going too fast. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Stop doing whatever you're doing. There you go. Thank you. Uh, let's see. This one isn't... Oh, this one's hardly long at all. Okay. Very good. Uh, oh, come back down here now. There we go. Okay. Apply here. Decouple. Let's back it off. There we go. Now, these are all going to Gladston, eh? Gladston, and then the ore hoppers go into Esso Flats. Gladston is track three. It's going to be back over this way. There's five, four. There's three right down there. 
Look at me switching switches like that. Crazy. What's all of these, uh, yeah, boxcars here. All going to Gladstone. Either the Sieve or the Seva Warehouse. I think it's Seva. I think these are all typos. That happens. As long as I know where they're going. Track the so so far out of this whole cut, everything's been drilled into the west yard. There's our engine right back there. We still have twenty six cars to drill. There's four. I did switch this one, right? Yeah, good. Four and then three. Okay. Here we come, y'all. But this one's got a lot of room. Could be a lot of flat cars I can't see. But it looks like it's got a lot of room on this track, too. We'll check it out once we start, uh, once we lash up here. Okay. Track three. Yeah, we've got plenty of room on track three. We want to come over here. Now, these cars before, these ore cars right here, I said I'm not very happy with, and I wish I could find some better ones. Turned out I have found better ones. I just forgot about them. So I want to switch these out sometime? I don't know. I guess they're not horrible, but we'll see. Of course, I made a bunch of random consists to be to be brought on to the uh, uh, route, and I put all these cars here instead of the new ore cars I found. Oh, boy. Could go back through and correct all of it, but oh, boy. That seems like a lot of work. Okay. Uh, so we'll stop it right there. You can do it. A little bit of slack action. Here we go. So apply. There we go. Back it off. Very good. Where are we going next now? Um... These are going to SO Flats, which is in the south yard. So we're going to push these in behind Smiley, so he can drill those later. Good, very good. Yep, so put them right behind Smiley. Now, after these ore cars are put in there, what's next? Uh, Lake Ridge. And Lake Ridge is also in the south yard. So Lake Ridge, Lake Ridge. Lake Ridge. And then we have some potash hoppers. Or Destin, not Destin, but Destin. And Destin is uh, track eight up here. All right, so these will not be going into the uh, south yard. The potash will be going here into the west yard. Let's got to drop off these box cars and the ore cars to Smiley. Let's disconnect here. Fly down here so we can see when it's time to slow down. I'm having, I'm still coughing. So all of a sudden I'm not talking anymore. It's because I've muted myself and I'm coughing. Trying to be professional. I wasn't at the beginning of the video. I admitted it. 
No, I'm trying to be more professional. I've heard videos before with uh, YouTubers coughing. Not the worst thing in the world, but not exactly the best thing in the world either, is it? Really not. All right, so let's pull these forward now. Here they come. Well, it's a BNSF. Slow it down just a little bit. There we go. Wow, that was a fast break. Okay. Uh, no, it's not basketball. So uh, we'll go apply. And now, no, now things, no, I don't want to be smiley. I want to be Thomas. There we go. Now we're going to back these off. And where are these Destins going to? I said it already. I forget the track. Uh, they are going to track eight. That's going to be way over on the other side of the west yard. We're going to come back all the way here. Clear this switch right here. And then go track eight. It's already set up. Track eight. There's not that much on track eight, so that's nice. Yeah, we'll wait for him down here. I had my I had my doubts for a second there, but we will. I'll see. Are we taller than the grass here? It's going to walk in mode. Looks like it's. I get the feeling like it's chest deep here. Get off the switch. Thank you. Up close and personal look here at Thomas's twin SW 1500s. Little jittery. fly mode. Thank you. So I can see the little yellow lock. There we go. Here we go this way now. Okay. So track eight's right here. Let's bump these onto here. Now after Destin, then we got some more going to Essel Flats, and that's the south yard. We're going to put these uh, uh, boxcars here. Uh, to Smiley's pile. That'll be it. Yeah, so we got these to put in uh, this track in the west yard, and then we have those uh, SO Flats uh, boxcars. Those are going to go uh, with Smiley, and then Smiley will drill the south yard for us. Because he's good like that. That's why we hired him. He didn't question us. We asked him to drill the south yard, and he says, we'll do. Touch the, touch the mouse. That's what happens. All right, let's slow this down right here. Drilled in nicely. Apply it, and let's pull on forward. 
Okay. Let's stop now and let's pull on backwards. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you gotta have the right direction. Okay. These are all going to S on or East. I can't say it. SO Flats Orion. Yeah. All five of them. Oakley Doakley. Back this way. And waiting for the clear. We actually can get rid of this one. Right we know where they're all going. I don't need to refer to the switch list any longer. Now let's go forward. There we go. Here we are. Let's jump on it. Now we should be set correctly all the way back down to Smiley. Yep. Got another train here. This is an inbound train that's now waiting to be cut up by Thomas once he gets around to it. Of course, he just got done cutting up the train that he's drilling now, so give the guy a chance, would you? Sheesh. You're getting paid sitting there in a the train. Again, maybe they're not. Maybe we sent him home. I don't know. I'm, I'm more of a big picture guy. I'm not the day-to-day -day guy. I don't know what they do with the crews when they get here take them off the clock to keep them on the clock I don't know what they do alrighty we'll lash up these uh, high cubes these high cubes over here push it forward a bit and then get out of uh Get out of Smiley's way. There we go. Push these past this little dwarf. Then we'll unlash uh, Thomas, stick him up and out of the way. Like I said, we'll let uh, Smiley drill the uh, south yard. There we go. Stop it right there. Oh, no. I, I want Thomas, not Smiley. There we go. Let's get back on this uh, in the west yard ladder. Stop him just after he passes those two uh, dwarfs right there on either side of the bottom of the ladder. There we go. Independent break him. Nice. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to flip the switch this way. We are going to lash on to... Uh... Smiley. Okay, so we're going to SO Flats first. Uh, yeah, SO Flats are the ones here on the end. Yeah, because there's... Uh, yeah, there's the SW-59 on that end. All right, so uh, SO Flats where we're going first. Let's do it. Uh, so this should be right now. This should be right now. It is. Here we go. And so where, what, 
track is Esso Flats. It's track eight, which is at the top part of the yard. Well, the left side. I don't know if you want to call it the top, but okay. We got this. We got this. I'm over here. Yep. 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 There's track eight right there. We got room on track eight. Not a whole lot. Let's do this too on this end in case it bleeds over. Okay, that should be good. Go back. I'm going to steal myself another lozenge here. Lo lozenge. Medicated candies. Then after the Esso Flats, we're going to have to uh, drill Lake Ridge, which is track two. But the length of some of these uh, cuts that are in these yards, it looks like we're going to be able to clear out two, maybe three of them. We're going to have one hellacious train pulling out of this uh, yard. In uh, in a short while, in an episode or two. I did check all these, right? Sometimes it, it's just like I'm in automatic mode. You know, I don't remember doing it. All right. We'll go with it. Worst case scenario, we got to back up. Lake Ridge, they got a port out in Lake Ridge. Uh, and there are sheds that are on the port. There's one through four, five through nine, and I think there's two other sets too. So that's what Lake Ridge port sheds five through nine means. In case you were wondering, if you weren't wondering, then just plug your ears and go la 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 for that part of the video and you won't have to hear it. Oh, okay. Come down here next to the coil cars. Here we go. Interesting to see how far back this goes on once these are all put on here. I'm pretty sure I allotted for more than enough room. I think it's going to go outside the yard. So I set the switches so it won't derail, I guess, is what I'm saying. All of a sudden, the truck sound cuts out. Oh, he wants to come back. There it is. Wait a minute. <laughs> I pass it up. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm messing up here, aren't I? Okay, let's go like this. So this one goes to SO Flats, right? I assumed it was going to be a different car. It's not. Uh, so uh, SO Flats, SO Flats, SO Flats, SO Flats. This one here is going to Lakers. Oh, look at that. I stopped it perfectly. Just on a hunch. It started looking wrong. Okay, here we go. I'm sick, folks, right? So you got to cut me some slack here. Or not. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> you do you. I'll do me. All right. So now we're going over to track two. Right? And then we're going to come back up here and push some more onto SO Flats. So these box cars, four box cars are going to Lake Ridge, which is track two. And then the last ones will be going back to uh, Lake Oregon. I feel like I repeated myself twice there. Okay. 
So she's back now. Shove him onto track two. Two. All right, so let's see. Plenty of room on track two. Oh, yeah, we're not off or out of the yard yet here. You see, here are those better ore cars I was talking about. These right here. They all have the same number, but I think they look better. <coughs> Even the lozenges aren't help helping. All right. Uh, yeah, and I think those look better than these ore cars do right here. You be the judge. They're about the same color. Lash onto this right here. Track two coming at you. Find the uh there it is. The dwarf. Or I like to push it past the dwarf. Can I tap it? Yeah, that worked. Alrighty. Stop it right there. Let's apply it. And uh whoop. And then move forward. Alright, Smiley. You're doing a great job, buddy. I think this one has a uh avatar in it, doesn't know it doesn't. They didn't put an actual driver in. He's going back to SO Flats, which is track one. And then we will be done drilling the North Yard. Because the whole thing is called the North Yard. But there's a South Yard, a Bull, and a West Yard. There's no North Yard in the North Yard. Although the West, the Bull is north of the South Yard, so the Bull is a North Yard. But I don't call it a North Yard, I call it the Bull. Really should have laid off the uh, compass directions or anything. It would have been less confusing. That's right. I need to keep my brain active. Here we go. It's definitely going to exceed the limits of this track. Get down on it. Here it comes. How much weight is he pushing on this one right now? Not too much. 3269. We're over 1500. But he's a trooper. He's exceeding his own tractive effort because that's the kind of guy he is. There we go. Stop it right there. Now, because I got to see it. How far? Are we, are we out onto the main line? Almost. Is there enough clearance for a train coming through? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to go with yes. I like it. Okay. So that is the end of Thomas's turn. Oh, hold on. Where's mute? That is the end of Thomas's turn. And Smiley actually doesn't have his own turn. He's got to. He only has to glom on to Thomas every time. 
Uh, so uh, I'm going to put you guys on pause and uh, figure out what we're doing next. David is where we're at, and David's in Flagston. Now, David uh, has some lumber. Uh, it's actually not lumber, it's logs. Logs that have to go into Flagston. There's already somebody working Flagston. You can see here's the trail under there. Uh, consist here. And it is Levi. Levi, if we fly forward here now, uh, is working the Flagston lumber. He's loading up with lumber is what he's doing here. Uh, and Levi is sticking out over the top of this track right here. Now, why is that important? Because <laughs> David has to drop off logs right here. All right, this is the log drop-off area. But he cannot then, he can't even run around it at this point. Because I don't think that the engines he has on here are going to fit in order to clear this and then back down this way. So he's got to do is run around down here. And then what also David has is uh, four boxcars for stuff that has to go into Flagston Sparkle Ice Cream, which is way up the, not way up there, this is a little bit up the line here, but that's got to be backed in. So he can't be on this end of the train, otherwise when he backs in, the engine will be going into the loading dock first. We don't want that. So it's like we're doing like a double runaround here. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So uh, let's... I have it on David now, right? Yeah, okay. Let's bag it up first and uh, see if I can figure this out. I definitely know I got to back it up first. What is this? An SD80 Mac? What is this? This is an SD70 Ace. I took a guess and was totally wrong. Close, but wrong. I was close, but way off. Okay. Here he goes now. Let's kill the bell. And yeah, we're going to go like this. Oh, yeah, he's not going to. There's no switch down here he has to worry about. All right. So we'll pull him back. And I'll have to put some uh, thought process into this. Okay, immediately after saying I had to put some thought process in this, I accidentally hit the wrong key on the keyboard, and I stopped the recording. <laughs> so, you know, blame it on my cold, blame it on something, I don't know. But we did back him up now. We backed up uh, David back to here, and then I'm going to stick him on this track right here. Here we go now. Then I noticed that it wasn't recording. I'd been talking for a while. It's sad. Still coughing. All right. I may have said this already. I don't know. We're going to pull the whole cut onto this track right here. Then we're going to detach the engine. We're going to run it back down to this end down here. Then we're going to grab onto the box cards on this end, detach them, put them onto this track. Then we're going to uh, go forward, attach onto the, uh, getting the log cars on the front end of the engine right here, push them all the way down. Then we're going to back up and put the uh, sparkle box cars on the back. That should get everything on the correct side of the train so we can get this done. Everything's recording now, right? Yeah, okay, it is. Yeah, so we're going to pull these forward just until they get onto this track here. We'll clear this frog right here. That was another emergency mute. I'm coughing and a hacking and a wheezing. the sparkles the uh rail box cars here uh 
right, this is, this is fancy railroad maneuvering right here. The old double runaround. I think that's an actual term, isn't it? Double runaround? If it's not, then I want to uh, trademark it right now. There we go. Auto brake. Fly. Uncouple. He's going to run down to this end of the yard. Now let's run down there ourselves first. Make sure these tracks are set right. This one should be set. No, I was right the first time. This way. Then this way. Then that way, right? Yep. Is there another train coming this way? Did I just see? Oh, no. That's a, that's a box. I thought it was a headlight. Uh, so, yeah. So, he'll come off of this track. Then we're going to want to go back down this track here. This is like judicious usage of track right now. Get rid of that. Oh, there's some cement hopper on the front of this. I didn't notice that before. How about that? And I was back all the way back down. Get a nice look at the Flagston area. There's Dorfman Bridge. That's uh, Johnny Dorfman. They used to call him the Dorf. Named it after him. Nice and easy does it. Yeah, I could do a speedy up part here on the edit, but I'm not going to. I like to watch it all nice and slow. A lot of times when I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm playing games myself, and I am kind of have both things on at the same time. I love it. If someone's doing speedy up bits or something like that, that means i got to pay a lot more attention to it. <laughs> am I encouraging you not to pay attention to my videos? Well, I guess I sort of am a little bit. You do what you think is right. Well, I guess you say what you want to do. I'm beginning to wonder why I'm using these lozenges. They don't seem to be working. My throat seems extremely dry right now. Okay. Not a very fast process, but it is an effective one. Okay, so we're going like this, like this, this, and that. That's all correct. So we left this conductor down here to throw these switches down here, which means uh, he probably had to throw his own switches down on the other end, right? I suppose the conductor could have rode with him. But then the conductor had to walk all the way back to this side of the yard. No, because it could have stopped right here, then he could have got out. Yeah, the conductor probably rode with him. Alright. So here's runaround number one of the double runaround. around. 
We've not completed round one yet. There we go. Connect up here on this end. Whoa, wrong way. Oh, no, I hit brake. <laughs> I panicked and it just, you saw it. It all went bad. Get up to three. There you go. Now we'll come back here. We want to disconnect here. Apply, decouple, and back it off. These uh, box cars are actually empty. We're just going to uh, put them on a storage track there at Sparkle. I thought they had uh, stuff in them, but they do not. And evidently, they're not uh, transporting ice cream in it. Transporting something else. Either that or they don't care about their ice cream, because I would think you would ask for a reefer, right, to transport uh, your ice cream. Box cars, it's not going to last very long. Oh, I know what it is. See, the Sparkle Ice Cream Company there also makes waffle cones and uh, regular sugar cones. And that's what they're shipping out. Okay. Push these into here. There we go. Just like that. Stop them right there. And back up again. If you have no idea why I'm doing this, it, it, it'll soon make sense. Oop, too far. Here we go. We're going to this one right here. Alrighty. It's going to be one of my longer videos, I'm noticing. I actually could have stopped it at the end of uh, work in the North Yard there. We were right at the cusp. Like at 45 minutes exactly, so I thought, oh, one more job should be quick. Turns out that one more job is not that quick, but again, what do I care? You don't have to watch this all in one sitting. You don't have to watch this at all. Okay. Now we're going to come down here. And we're going to hook this up here. So once we lash on to this cut right here, we'll have done part one of the runaround. Of the double runaround. Here we go. Beautiful. this way then this way and this way then we're going to want to go into the sawmill triple yeah that's nice triple switch 
Here we go. Oh, we're dropping off right here. That's right. Okay. There's our box cars right there. We're going to come back for them. got a real good look at this uh, lumber yard here. This lumber yard uh, yard. The lumber yard yard. But if you're looking for a lot of varied scenery all the time and high action, railroading's really, I don't think, your, your thing. I mean, it, it, when you're traveling, when you're in a road train, you do see a lot of scenery, I imagine, right? Of course you do. But if you're working a yard, it's not going to be that way. It's just, it's just not. All right, so we're going to make it through here. Then we're going to go back and connect onto those box cars. And you know what? I think we're going to. I have to call it <laughs> quits at that point. Get one more good cough and you know. Because we are we are getting to be uh like it's over an hour now. This is a super long episode. Alrighty. Right here, clear this switch, go back, get the box cars. I want to finish the double runaround. That's my goal now. I got to do it. There we go. Slow it down. Beautiful. Now let's back it back up. We see our box cars way over there. Here he comes. How much weight is he pulling right now? Can't be that much, right? 1660, not that much. And the uh, SD78 uh, uh, ACE is uh, what rated what? 6,000? I was way off. 4,500. These are pine, this is pine lumber. See what that is right there. Uh, spruce, to be exact. There are 95 ton, uh, tons, and it's 100% wetness. Sure. Sure. That's what you're going to want, right? Wetness. Oh, look, you can attach an EOT on there. We'll wait for the last car to go by, see if we can't get an EOT on there. That's end of train device, in case you don't know. There's the last one. It definitely does not have an EOT on there right now, so let's see if we can add one. See if it does anything. Oh, it did! Look, it's an EOT device. Golly gee. All right, so let's go over here now, complete the double runaround, and then we're going to have to let you go. Two or three of you that made it all the way to the end of the video. This might be pushing the record for the longest video. I'm not sure. All right. 
slow it down. There we go. Prepared a couple. And there it is. The double, double run, uh, run around right now. We've got it. We made it. Actually, I did it. You just watched. But anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time. I know I had a good time. Uh, in order to finish uh, watching David do uh, the Flagston Lumber Mill as well as the Sparkle Ice Cream Company, you'll have to tune into episode 17 because we're going to start right off with David at that time. Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you give me a like? Why don't you leave me a comment? And if you don't like the fact that I've been coughing into the mic the entire time, well, this just may not be the channel for you. Thank you.